So let's talk mm -hmm. about tabula rasa, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which is Greek word, which is Latin word for uh, the clean slate. Well, uh, it's actually the blank, the blank slate. Rasa means What's the difference blank. between clean and blank? Is there a difference? Something that is something that's clean is in opposition to something that's dirty. Something that's blank is has nothing written on it. So the idea of the human being who arrives in the world, do they or do they not possess any ideas, any innate ideas, it goes better with the idea of the blank slate as opposed to the clean slate. So let's let's clean. replace it with fresh. Okay, so it's Latin. It's actually a Latin expression, mm. and it's just translated the, the blank slate. Right. Or if you just, yeah, yeah, okay. Like if you think like a blackboard, like a blackboard at school yeah. back in the day, and that people write on it with chalk. When you arrive in the classroom, the, 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 the blackboard is just clean. So it's not about okay. the board. Right? It's about the human mind. Tabula rasa is the idea that the mind is a discussion, is the mind blank when it, at birth, or are there innate ideas embedded in the mind that, that comes with the territory? Yeah, when 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 you speak about the child being born or uh, something like that, but when you're grown up man and you're about to have a clean slate or you're about to wipe the clean slate, that would mean you want to start fresh, all the things over anew. Yeah. Okay. But like, epistemology is the st is the psychology uh, philosophy of the mind. So. John Locke talks about the mind and knowledge. So epistemology is the study of knowledge. So we're not really talking about a guy made some mistakes, he wants to start over or stuff like that. It's more like how, it's, it's like a discussion of the mind and how the mind operates. So human mind is a tabula rasa. Yeah, tabula rasa is the, the study in philosophy of the whole concept is the mind blank at birth and experience and parents and teachers and schools write upon it and give it ideas or the, is the human mind and the baby is there some stuff in there that develops and interacts with parents and school and society so the concept of the discussion of tabula rasa is the nature of the mind. And what's your approach? Me? Yeah. What is your approach to it? <clears throat> Do you agree that okay. the human being is born, all humans, born with the clean mind? Or not clean, but... Uh, yeah, no, the, yeah, that's fine. The, yeah, blank slate. Blank, blank, blank. Right. blank. Yeah, like there's nothing nothing written on it. Let's think, let's think of the idea of written, there, that, that society writes on our minds, experience rights on our minds. So if you think about <clears throat> the way the educational system is set up as an educator, we have a curriculum, we have an agenda, students come in, they sit in the classroom and we, their mind, many teachers assume there's nothing there, we pour in information like it's empty. That's how a lot of teachers and professors teach. A lot of educational systems are built around tabula rasa. Students arrive, they don't know anything about American literature, they don't know anything about Russian history, they don't know anything about the you know, Spanish Civil War. If they know nothing, the teacher pours the information into the blank slate or into the empty vessel. So tabula rasa, the blank slate, is related to the empty vessel. Like the empty, it's empty. Students arrive in the classroom empty. So the discussion of tabula rasa is what, what's the nature of the mind at birth? So if you're talking about the mind at birth, some people conceive of time as a line, 
there's point A, B, C. You're born, and then you're five years old, then you're 15 years old, then you're 45 years old. So it's a line that moves from point A, B, C. So if you think about birth as the zero point, you're born, that's the zero point. Many people think that there's nothing there. And then when you're one years old, there's a little bit more. And then when you're five years old, there's more. So what do you think? I'm thinking of two twins that are born in the same family, in the same house, and uh, in the same society, and uh, but they grow up different. If, yes. If if they should have been, they shouldn't have been them. If we uh, stick to the conception that you've just uh, uh, described, because uh, they've born, be, they've, they've both been been born with clean, with clean mind. Or what was the word again? Clean mind. Blank. Blank mind. But uh, yeah, the blank mind has nothing written on. Nothing has right. written on. But but they've they've ended up differently, although they've been in the same conditions. Uh, so I'm a bit confused if that that's the case. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I. I also think that consciousness does not begin at birth. That there is some consciousness, like in the womb, the mother is doing things. Like she's cooking. She's listening to music. The mother is wandering around. She's outside. It's cold. So the baby growing inside the mother doesn't start at birth. Stuff is going on before birth. Mm. Well, so that's these interesting. Two yeah. twin, these two twins that are in the mother's womb, one's on the left and one's on the right. The mother sleeps on the right. The one that's on the right is always getting crushed. So even in the womb, they're not really the same. But mm. there's a different... There's the experience of being, experience of being, doesn't start at birth. So I personally, as a person and as an educator, do not believe in tabula rasa. I believe that there is something innate in the being of the person. And when they arrive at the moment of birth, there's some stuff going on in, in their head. Mm. I've never even knew that such concept exists until two days ago, because the clean slate, wiping the clean slate, associated, yeah. all been always associated with me with something that needs to be forgotten or forgiven or raised. Oh yeah, yeah, like a debt, pay your debt, get a clean uh -huh. slate. Let's yeah, like the record over. should yeah. be erased, and uh, it turned out that uh, it's not that simple, uh, and uh, whoever. It was who mentioned it first, probably a long time ago. I'm not sure. My history is a little hazy. When was uh, probably some scientist? Who was it that first mentioned tabula rasa? Okay, <clears throat> in the 18th century in France, that's called the Age of Enlightenment. So the Age of Enlightenment precedes Romanticism. So Romanticism is the 1900, you know, the, the okay, so the age of enlightenment is Rousseau, Diderot, Jean Locke, all those uh, brainiac guys. So Rousseau has this idea that we are born free, but society puts chains on us. So John, uh, so Rousseau has the idea of the noble savage, that we're, we're born at least neutral, but society corrupts us. But it's the idea of there's an original goodness. So John Locke, Rousseau, Diderot, all those guys were talking about the idea of the blank slate. So it's a Latin phrase that, that comes from Rousseau and John Locke, the Age of Enlightenment. Mm. And um, that the, so, so like Rousseau says, the natural state of man or human, the natural state is to be free, is to be good, is to be kind. But society teaches us to be evil, to be greedy. So 
evil and greed and stuff like that, corruption is taught by society. So the baby arrives with, with a natural goodness, and then society writes all this stuff on, on, the, on the, the, the mind of the baby. But, but, well, the thing is, like, we're, we're kind of going in a lot of different directions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would say, but, I would say it's eight, 18th, cent, 18th century with Rousseau and jo John Locke is British, Rousseau and Diderot are French. So Age of Enlightenment is when it was starting to be applied to educational theory and child rearing. Yeah. Well, I can say, I can say I've learned a lot today. And uh, you've just mentioned the good and evil, which I like to be the next subject of our discussion, if you don't mind. Super. Because time is up. <laughs>